بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now in the ccnp security again we have another module or another paper called cisco uh, firepower now just a quick overview like we when we talk about security the firewall is one of the important device now what is firewall again uh, we'll see basically the firewall is a device when the traffic is moving from your lan to internet or anything from one network to another network the firewall ensure that it allows or deny the traffic according to the rules we configured some rules on the firewall device and that firewall device is responsible for allowing or denying that particular traffic or or even you can inspect the traffic you can you can configure multiple things there are plenty of things you can do on the firewall you can configure the vpns uh, you can configure some access policies this is all the things so every vendor have their own uh, firewalls similar way the cisco have its own firewall called cisco asa now the cisco asa is actually the firewall from cisco uh, adaptive security appliance again the cisco acquired something called pix pix was the original vendor which was a firewall company cisco acquired that company and cisco released with cisco pix so later on cisco modified the name and modified some few things and released as a cisco asa firewall so when you talk about firewall there are plenty of vendors in the market like you may have a follow out of firewall or clinical firewalls or maybe a, a checkpoint fortigate or different vendors so here our focus is more on the cisco firewalls now again uh, most of these firewalls do plenty of things they do state to packet inspection they do they, they support vpns and you can configure the rules there are plenty of things you can do so we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more detail what exactly they are but again uh, now the current generation firewalls now cisco asa will do the firewall job generally it does what general firewalls will do but as per the today's market we will be using something called next generation firewalls now this next generation firewalls they have inbuilt ips to detect some malicious traffic they have application visibility where you can configure the rules to deny the traffic based on an application like you want to block the facebook you want to block a social media sites or even uh, they support vpns there are plenty of other things you can do on on these things so they they just they are not just the firewalls they support the most of the today's next generation uh, features so that's where the cisco asa do not support so now cisco acquired uh, cisco there is a company called sourcefire cisco acquired this company and released with a cisco firepower so now the firepower that's where the name comes so the cisco a uh, firepower or in today's network we call as ftd firepower threat defense or you can just say firepower because the firepower which was acquired by cisco it was just doing the job of ips it it just does the job of ips but again the cisco require the firewall and also it should support the next generation ips features or next generation firewall features these features also should be supported so combinedly the image what we use nowadays we call it as ftd the firepower threat defense so that's that's a firewall with support so this paper is more focused on understanding the basic firepower or the firepower threat depends those things terminologies and the different products from cisco and on with those devices you will be implementing some access policies you are going to integrate in your network and you are going to deploy manage troubleshoot these all the things so basically in the firepower will be uh, covering multiple things like if we talk if we if we walk through with the different concepts what will be seen so we'll try to configure something called fmc and ftd devices now these are the two devices which are used for for the means fmc is a kind of centralized configuration so if you want to do any configurations which is a gui based we do it from fmc and in my company if i have multiple ftds i can manage all them from a single place called fmc 
So probably initially we'll try to understand these uh, differences and then we'll try to set up them. You can set up them in your, and there are some virtual devices like FMC virtual, FTD virtual, where you can set up these things on inside your GNS3 or your event topology. And then we'll do some basic uh, network configuration, like a basic network setup. And then we'll go on from there. We'll, we'll try to register because without registrations, FTD, FMC will not uh, talk to each other. And then we'll get into the configurations, like doing the basic interface configurations or doing some routing configurations. So all these configurations goes in a GUI based. So if you have already done, used the ASA, so similar kind of command line we can we can still use here, but almost all the configurations can be done via GUI. So we'll try to do some basic interface configurations, and then we'll also try to understand some routing configurations, redistribution configurations. Also, now these are also important because the the firepower is the firewall itself is like a router which needs to maintain the routing table to provide end-to-end -end reachability. So that's the reason we we'll try to configure some routing options here. And then we'll get into the policy. So once our topology is set up, we'll, we'll, try to, we'll try to configure some access rules and then we'll generate the traffic from LAN to the internet and then we'll verify those policies here. I can see these are the default policies we are going to verify here. And then we'll uh, probably after that, we'll also cover the NAT configuration. Because again, the firewall or the firewall where you also configure the NAT when it is connecting to the internet, we'll try to see the different types of NAT like static NAT, dynamic NAT, static NAT, policy NAT. Uh, these are all the different types of NATs we'll, we'll try to configure. And once we are through with the NAT, then we'll get into the filtering options. Filtering means we can configure this device to define the rules or access policies, that's what we call it as, uh, which will allow or deny the traffic as it moves between LAN to internet or LAN to DMZ like that, to servers. So we'll try to configure different rules, like you can configure these rules based on multiple parameters or multiple conditions. So where you can configure the rule based on the networks, where I can match what source, what destination address, Based on that, I can say, if the traffic matches this source, this destination, then allow or deny whatever you want. Not only that, even I can configure based on the ports. Means I can say, if the traffic matches this source, this destination, if the port number is 23, or if it is equal to 80, then deny the traffic. Or even you can configure the access rules based on the URLs. Now URLs are like, I want to say www.xyz.com, this website should be denied. Or all my social media websites should be denied. Or uh, streaming streaming, uh, streaming uh, channels like yeah, YouTube or any other streaming specific, you can configure the rules. You can do that. So those kind of rules we'll see. Most of the things goes in a GUI, and geolocation. Geolocation is like you can also configure the rule saying that from this country, if the traffic is originating, we can demand. Even if that is possible. You can even enable the logging, and also even you can configure some file policy. Now in the file policy, we can even say that if the traffic is coming from, if it is an if it is a, uh, let's say, if it is your PDF file, you can define the rule saying that uh, any PDF file should not get uploaded or downloaded. So we can restrict that. I can say that .exe files should not be downloaded. I want to restrict that. So we can define the file types. According to that, we can define the rules. Apart from that, we can also configure some redundancy options where uh, we can have multiple firewalls because if you have just one single firewall, so if that firewall fails, then that's going to uh, that's going to simply uh, it's going to be a single point of failure that can be avoided by using some failover 
concepts or high availability features like active standby, active active, or even clusters. Even you can configure the VPNs, just like the VPN uh, module, you, you generally cover the VPN concepts. So here we'll also see if I'm trying to configure the site-to-site -side VPN or the remote side VPNs, how exactly the configuration goes. So this FTD paper is more about the firepower. Uh, it's more about the next generation firewall from Cisco. And the prerequisite for this is you also need to have some uh, overview or the foundation knowledge of ASA, even though we don't uh, really require now because the ASA is going to completely replace, replace with FTD device. But still there are uh, some organizations or in some places you might be using ASA with firepower services. Means you can enable ASA with a software called firepower services as well. 